I'm Grace Donnelly, executive editor of CTVC. Welcome to Ecobyte. Hi, I'm Grace Donnelly. I'm the executive editor of Climate Tech VC or CTVC, a newsletter that tracks venture capital investment into climate technology companies. So that includes companies working on energy, on carbon management, land use, building, built environment, um, food and ag, all kinds of different industries and sectors that uh, need to reduce emissions in order to meet our, our climate goals. So I joined CTVC in February and began um, editing the newsletter then. And I don't come from a climate background or uh, even environmental science background. I'm a journalist by training and actually started my career writing about business and, and doing business reporting at Fortune magazine. And I kind of followed that thread. I felt like, you know, knowing where money is coming from is is a great way that, that journalism helps track power dynamics in our world. Um, and I ended up writing about climate tech for the first time after covering a lot of different industries for Morning Brew's Emerging Tech Brew newsletter. And that was a great chance to really dive into these topics. Um, we were writing for about 500,000 readers who were broadly interested in emerging technology. So I was just learning as much as I could and kind of translating these complex uh, topics for um, readers with you know different levels of familiarity with climate tech. And I actually met the CTVC team through my reporting there because I found that the way the way they began categorizing climate technology back in 2020, uh, when the newsletter first started, uh, was, was really the most useful to me uh, as a journalist to try and figure out where resources were going within this space, uh, which types of technology solutions were attracting venture funding, and kind of how that overlaid with how much emissions different sectors um, are kind of responsible for. So the way that the way that CTVC categorizes climate tech, it's really less of an industry and more of a theme. Um, and we break it into seven different subsectors, energy, food and land use, transportation, built environment, carbon, climate, climate management, and, and industrial. Um, and so I found that CTVC had really great data on, on what was happening in those spaces. And when the team needed a, an editor, I felt like it was a great opportunity to dive deeper into these topics and really start writing for a more specialized audience who's, who's focused day to day on, on solving climate issues. Um, so CTVC tracks venture capital investments in climate tech companies across those categories that I explained. And the thought behind it is that in the US and in, in Europe, all around the world, but especially I think in our economies, a lot of innovation happens through startups and startups are being funded by venture capital firms. Um, and so as we search for tools, solutions to address you know, emissions reductions um, and, and other issues related to climate change, there are a lot of really smart folks working on on new technologies, on you know innovation for existing technologies that can help with that. And the very early stages of those types of companies often get their funding. You know there are government grants and, and programs like that when you're you're very early on. But then, as these companies start to grow and scale, they need capital, and that that typically comes from venture firms in the early stages. So I think for for me the the data on how much funding is going into different sectors um, and different areas of climate tech really shows where the market thinks solutions are going and, and which types of technologies will work. And I think we're at such a critical juncture now um, in terms of the, the time, the little time we have to, to really meet some of the climate goals that have been laid out. We need the resources to go to the areas with the biggest impact. Um, and so taking a look at the trend within VC um, and, and looking at where those investors are placing their bets gives an indicator of, of which, which parts of this climate tech ecosystem are getting resources, are getting support, are kind of expected to grow. And I think also importantly points out areas where the venture model might not be a good fit for scaling something that we really need. So at the end of June, we published our report on venture capital activity and climate tech for the first six months of 2023. 
And I think there have been a lot of eyes on, on climate tech companies, folks discussing whether this is a part of the economy that will be a little more insulated from, from macroeconomic trends, from you know, overall investment decline. But we did find that overall investments did dip in the first half of this year compared to the six months prior, compared to um, the first half of 2022 as well. But it's, it's interesting to dig into the data because I, I think in some ways the activity we're seeing has kind of returned to the levels before the big you know, investment frenzy that happened really in 2021 and 2022, which I think was especially pronounced in climate tech because there was kind of a new interest in some of these types of companies and some of these types of technologies. Continue this conversation with the EcoBite podcast available wherever you get your podcasts.